Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the M2M MQ03-LTE and its connection into the DSC Impasa wireless security system. Super easy to do on this, four wires. So what we're gonna do prior to doing anything here is make sure that you've killed power to your system. Obviously mine is powered down, but in order to kill power, you need to unplug the power supply and then you need to get the panel opened up by going into these two little slots at the very top here and then kind of sliding your flathead screwdriver in and pulling the screen towards you. Once you do that, it'll pop it open like so, and then we can get into it. So once you open it up, you'll see the interior of this. We're not gonna be worried about this side right now. So we're gonna put this over to the side here. Once we do that, we're gonna look inside and we're gonna see our wiring terminals here. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip it this way so that you can see it. The battery is disconnected as well, so we're powered down. Now we're gonna be using these wiring terminals here. Specifically, we're gonna be using AUX plus, AUX minus, R and T, which stand for ring and tip. So what we're gonna do is grab our communicator after the panel's been opened and powered down. And as you guys can see, I've pre-wired this communicator. So it's gonna be four connections total. So we have two strips of 22 gauge, two conductor in this case it's four conductor but i didn't cut these back because i actually am going to use this again so uh, you guys can ignore these connections here only these matter so the red wire is going to go to plus or positive and the black wire is going to go to minus or negative by the way you will have to come up with your own wire it does not have a wire and uh, it won't ship with it because no one knows how long the, the run will be so you will be you will be responsible for getting wire um, so we have red to plus black for minus then we have red for ring and black for tip once you've confirmed those connections you can go ahead and get it wired back to the panel itself so we'll start with the, uh, the power connections themselves right now so we'll take the red wire and that red wire is going to run into aux plus go ahead and get that in there which is right here and once you're able to slide that in there, go ahead and tighten it down. Okay. Kind of be a pain in the butt to get it in there because it's kind of at an angle, but once you're able to get it in, just tighten it down. black wire and your black wire is going to be going right next to it into aux minus. So we'll go ahead and get this wound up properly here. Put it in there and then go ahead and tighten it down. After you have that tightened down in place, you're going to go on to the next set of two connections that you have, which is going to be for tip and ring. So once you get that, go ahead and you're going to be wiring the red wire into ring or R. And remember, you're probably going to want to be pulling these out of like a punch out or through the back of the back plate or something like that. So that way these wires aren't in the way when you go to close your cover. I'm only just showing you this way for quick uh, wiring, but yeah, you want to pull it through the back on this one. All right, so now we're going to go with our black wire to tip. you've made that connection in there go ahead and tighten it down okay and once your connections are all done then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the actual communicator put together here so now we have the communicator wired into the panel we need to get our antenna connected, which we're gonna do like so. There's your connection. You just go ahead and screw that on right there. Once you've confirmed that's on, you can go ahead and get your antenna out of the way. Now the last thing we have to do is get our internet plugged in, which we'll plug in right here, as you can see. So we'll get our internet cable and we'll just snap it in. At this point, you are wired in and you are ready to give us a call and get this activated. Go ahead and power your system on. 
If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. Take care. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.